There's two things I've loved my entire life. Platform fighters that I legally cannot name and Nicktoons. So naturally, when Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl was announced, I felt like this game was made specifically for me. And I played it, but it always felt like something was missing. Squidward. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 is finally here, and you're probably wondering, Chuck, what's new about this game? Don't worry, I got you covered. Play as your favorite Nicktoons, as legendary voice actors bring both new and returning characters to the brawl with all new playstyles and abilities. If you've ever wanted to hear your favorite characters interact with each other, I have news for you. Mrs. Pop, Mrs. Pop, it's me! Looking for more ways to play? Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2's new single-player campaign mode lets you jump into an original story featuring roguelike mechanics, minigames, bosses, and more, and it's in your hands to stop Vlad Plasmius and save the universe. Hone your skills with a brand new slime meter. Use slime to enhance your abilities, cancel moves, and unleash destructive super abilities. And with completely revamped mechanics, there's more offensive and defensive options than ever before. So whether you just want to kick back and play with friends, or you want to get sweaty in a ranked 1v1, no items, harmonic convergence only session, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 has something for everyone and is now available for Steam, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox, and Switch. To learn more, click the link in the video description, and thanks to Game Mill Entertainment for sponsoring this video. Oh, look at this. There's different difficulties. You have Tiny But Mighty, which is Tommy Pickles, Texas Tough, which is Sandy, and for the veteran platform fighter players like me, Masterclass Splinter. Oh, wow, there's cutscenes. This might have been confirmed, but I haven't really watched any of the promotional material because I wanted to come in fresh. That it is, Patrick. Let me show you, Patrick. It's all in the technique. Show him the technique. Stop on your right foot. Don't forget it. <laughs> it's a giraffe. Uh-oh. Damn it, SpongeBob. You ripped a hole in time and space again, blowing bubbles. Oh, there goes Patrick. SpongeBob's not moving because he's just too powerful. What just happened to Patrick? I didn't even get to show him my best bubbles. Oh, I don't like this. Don't worry, there's a, another portal for you. Hey there. Come through here if you wish to save your friend. Oh, who's this? Who are you? Who are you, mysterious you voice? Patrick? No, but there's no time to explain. Time is short, and your friend needs help. Into this portal. Into Quickly. the portal. We've got candy. If that's what I need to do to help Patrick, I'm coming, Patrick! All right, go save your friend. Where's Squidward when all this is happening? La -da -dee, la -da -dee, la -da -da. Where am I? And where's Patrick? Oh, you're just in the harmonic convergence, SpongeBob. Oh, look, I gotta fight the jellyfish. That's cool. Just put them on the versus screen. Fighting jellyfish team. And everyone has been like completely revamped. Like there's a whole bunch of new moves and move sets and like all the models are new. So far the game looks great. And it looks like SpongeBob's Nair is now the goofy goober rock as opposed to the split kick that he used to have. I missed that split kick, but this makes more sense. All right, let me start using my heavy attacks. Breaking shields, breaking faces. Stage three, pick a power up from Gur's selection. <laughs> Hi, Gur, how you doing? I'm gonna sing my doom song now. Okay, you do that. You know, I really wish that I liked Invader Zim the way other people do. Just out of all the Nicktoons, it's not my favorite. That's why when I had the option to voice one of the remaining spotlights, I had to go with Rocco. All right, so we have Gurr's Taco. Gain one stock. That's epic. We have rare and legendary. Projectiles have a 30% chance of inflicting freeze. Urkin missile launcher. Projectiles follow enemies. I'm going to go with the extra stock just in case. These powers will help you in your journey. Use them wisely. Okay. Whatever you say, mysterious voice, who is definitely not Vlad, but will probably end up being Vlad. All right, on to stage four. Bring on all the jellyfish. I'll take them. I mean, don't they know who they're dealing with? You'll remember that episode where all the jellyfish invaded the Eastern Air Temple. Come on, bring it on. Get all reliable. Oh, a Foot Clan. So there's just going to be like random series baddies that are going to continue to show up. That's so cool. We got Oppa over here. 
who just peaced out. He's like, oh, I'm not dealing with any of that. Home run! Yeah, try it. <laughs> so if you look at the bottom, you'll see this green meter under SpongeBob stocks, and that's your slime meter. So you can use that to power up attacks, or you can do an ultimate like this. <laughs> and you know, you could fail your voting exam and also get charged for vehicular manslaughter. No, you don't. No, you don't. So, if I recall correctly, I think you can use your slime meter to power up special attacks. So if you have like one or two charges in there instead of just going all out and using your super. Oh no, I have to fight Patrick now, my best friend. Oh, this is appropriate. And there's Mr. Krabs in the background, a soon to be playable character. Excellent point. Mr. Krabs is in the background. He's like, don't forget, lad. He called you yellow. Stop quoting SpongeBob for a three seconds challenge. Impossible. Here you go. Get slime bubbled. Okay, I'm kind of nasty with SpongeBob. I'm also really excited to see all the new tech because, like I said, because this game is just like built from the ground up. Like, all new physics, all new hit stun, move sets, systems. Sit this one out, Rick. Oh, new brawler unlocked. So I guess I can change characters coming up or maybe I have to play as different characters further down the line. Oh, look at this. Powdered Toast Man has been relegated to the power-ups vendor. Hey, PTM, what you got? This the magic happens, fellas. <laughs> okay, whatever you say. As I always say, I stand for truth, justice, and a balanced breakfast. So it looks like you buy things with the blimps. Uh, Karate, charge attack deal plus 30% damage. Can't afford some of these. Air dodges have 15% chance of dropping a bomb. I can only really pick from these three. Light attacks 10, I'm gonna go with the beaver fever because I'm using a lot of light attacks. Oh, and I can also get Karate gear. It's on sale. It's in the clearance section, I'll take those. Thank you. Now we have a choice. Aang, April, or XJ9. We're gonna go straight up the middle. SpongeBob's trying to get on Channel 6 News real bad. <laughs> Wait, look at his flurry. This is it. This is the technique. My friends and I were joking because we were playing this yesterday because I may have had this game for a while, saying that it'd be funny to see, like, modern-day April just like a YouTuber just running, like, a drama channel. They also expanded these stages really nicely. Like, this whole rooftop now, there's, just, there's, uh, there's much more to it. And the visuals, you could say they cooked. They fry cooked. Come on, die! Let me hit you with my rainbow! There you go, cover that story. Newsflash, I'm back, and I'm going to track down the story of how this happened. Uh, I smacked you in the head. All right, stage nine, another wave of enemies. Who are they going to add to the fray this time? Ah, Flying Dutchman ship. Great stage. Where is old Dutchie? Oh, it looks like there's pirates now. Like the fish pirates. There he is, hanging out in the background. Oh, no, you don't. So this is supposed to be a master class? Because I'm thriving right now. But then again, I do have two stocks, so I should be careful. Because if I had one stock, I'd probably need to be safer with uh, the damage that I'm taking instead of just mashy mashy. Get in there. Finish. Then back to Gurr's power-up store. So it's cool how the campaign has, like, cutscenes and it's a roguelike because you continue to buy new abilities and upgrades. Yeah, mood. All right, let's see. I mean, I feel like I should go with the legendary, right? Projectiles follow enemies. I could be a waterbender and freeze my opponents. I'm just going to go with the Urken missile launcher. Now I can just use homing bubbles. Oh, stage 12 is the boss of this zone. So after you defeat it, I guess you go to a different zone. That's cool. I was confused for a second. I was like, is this it? It doesn't seem very long at all. All right, where is he? Stupid jellyfish. I hate jellyfish. Uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? King Jellyfish makes a shocking entrance. All right, let's beat the jelly out of him. Ouch. Ow. Yeah, they are homing, so I can just like, just spam. And the slime upgraded bubbles are homing as well. Look at this. All right, am I taking too much damage? Stop popping my bubbles. 
Why would I use... I should use more heavy attacks. I forget that I have them sometimes. There we go. I mean, it's probably most appropriate to finish him off with the jellyfish net, right? Die! Chop you in half. Get out of here. There's Vlad. I'm so glad that he's the villain of this game. He was always a cool villain in Danny Phantom. How did you get here and not fall under my control? That's not right. I guess you're just a mistake I will have to correct. Take that back. Um, huh? Wow, barnacles! Okay? <laughs> I am more powerful than ever. You don't stand a chance. You just one-shot me. I guess this is where I maybe play as other brawlers? Or do I keep playing as SpongeBob? Let's start over. Rewind. Huh? Do it all again now. And I'm taking those blimps away from you. Where are we now? Uh, what? What just happened? You got the piss beaten out of you by a ghost vampire? Clockwork came right in time. You there. We need to talk. Oh, that's who was talking was to me. The end. No more SpongeBob. But here I am, alive and well, and as absorbent as ever. I am Clockwork. I just Master control all of time. That's all. We wound time and brought you back here, just before you were defeated. So Vlad you didn't actually defeat home, me. And I can help. All right, blah, blah, blah. We have to stop Vlad Plasmius because he's trying to, uh, you know, hurt people. Oh, I can change brawlers here. Uh, let's try Patrick out. Oh, I can also change costumes. So we have, uh, blue. We have Barnacle Boy Patrick. We have Mind Control Patrick. I'm gonna go with Barnacle Boy Patrick. Gotcha. Right, visit Nora Wakeman in the perk shop. You look lost. I suppose you too were unceremoniously teleported here. Oh, so this is completely different. So I can unlock a perk here. Let's see. Starts all runs at one extra step. I mean, that's a no-brainer. We'll take another slot, and then, uh, one extra air jump. Charge attacks 30% faster. Go with the extra jump. In platform fighters, jumps are everything. So what is this portal? Oh, difficulty preset. Oh, wow. Wait, hang on. It goes, it goes higher. Do we go for prepare for doom? Just see how far we can get? No, not yet. Not yet. We're going to go to the salty spittoon. All right, we cranked it up a little bit. Let's see how tough this is. Oh, we're in the dam now. All right, Patrick's moveset. I don't know how changed it is, but we still have the uh, the phone slam. No, this is Patrick. I do have two stocks, so I got a little bit of grace here because I did turn it up a little bit. Oh, we got some killer plants here. All right, let's see. Catch them all. Oh, spiders! spiders! <laughs> His jab is just him spinning. Oh no, I got slowed. But the slow effect is lightning Larry Luciano. Wait, why is it? Can I just like infinite with that? Finish. Huh? Hugh is here? So do we go to Jimmy's lab or do we go to Jellyfish Fields? As someone who likes SpongeBob over Jimmy Neutron, I'm going to see Mrs. Puff. And just what do you expect me to do with this pinata stick? You don't answer that. It's Mrs. Puff! Mrs. Puff! Mrs. Puff! It's me! You're standing right in front of me, Patrick. Yeah, we oh, see you, Patrick. Sorry. I must have been looking through the wrong end of my eyes. You guys hear that theory that Mrs. Puff is not actually Never Mrs. Mind, Puff and it's a stolen Patrick. identity? I mean, it makes sense if you put everything together that we know about Mrs. Puff. And all the things that she said. I have a little present for you. What do you got for me? Let's go with... I mean, the Avatar State's epic and we have two commons. I'm going with the Avatar State. Can you imagine Patrick in the Avatar State? That would be terrifying. Oh, so I can't go up. That looks like that's some kind of treasure chest. All right, so we have a Versus stage or we have Pop the Slime Balloons. I'm going to do that one because we haven't done anything like that yet. All right, we have, what, two minutes? Easy. Oh, crap. Do I have any projectiles? Um, whoops. I feel like this might have been easier for someone like SpongeBob, who has a projectile. Oh, wait, I have an extra jump, too. Got it. So we got some pirates again. We got some Foot Clan. I like the idea of this all going down at the Harmonic Convergence. His up aerial heavy is still kind of nasty. All right, donut for me. Heal a little bit. Um, and let's bash him with the rock. Spiders, 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 spiders. Yeah, so I think a lot of Patrick's moves seem the same. Uh, maybe his specials are different. Hello, 
customer. Of course, he's got the cabbage cookies. I feel like some vendors probably have to sell a specific item. Like, if he didn't have the cabbage cookies, why even be here? Slime coupon. Gain 20 slimies. Well, those are good. I'll take those. And we'll get some cabbage cookies. He didn't say the thing. You know, the thing. All right, let's fight Plankton. Try and unlock another brawler here. I'm actually really curious to see how Plankton plays, but I love that he's in a giant mech. Does he need to be mind controlled though? I feel like he would just want to stomp Patrick and SpongeBob out. Yo, what the hell was that? I'm like, I feel extra heavy. I don't know if it's the sauce on me. If he has like some kind of a uh, debuff. Come on, let's get him. Duh! All right, time to beat Jimmy Neutrons. Did someone mix peroxides with combustibles? Because I detect an incoming explosion. Shut up, nerd. Wait, can I just cheese this? Come on, wait, just grab him. Die! <laughs> you gotta love the walk-off stages. Oh, another power-up? Okay, we have a few more stages left. And then whoever the, uh, the boss of Zone 2 is... Oh, this uh, character must be from El Tigre. I unfortunately know nothing about El Tigre. All right, let's, uh, I'm, I'm gonna pick Reptar. I'm not even gonna read what it does. I saw something about Explode and Reptar was there and I'm, I'm good, that's it. That's all I need to know. Speaking of El Tigre, do we take, well, let's go unlock more brawlers. I might have to turn the difficulty up again because I need more of a challenge. <laughs> no, this is Patrick, die! There we go, oh! I thought that was gonna spike. Oh, I should have went for the uh, down light in the air. Okay, that was uh, that was stupid of me. Wrong attack. Back to one stock. Easy come, easy go. Even though he's my least favorite turtle, I'm happy to see him in the game. He's got the Donnie range though, which honestly made him the best in the original TMNT game. Oh, that was easy. Oh, we're gonna fight the Flying Dutchman now. Loves to steal souls and yar. Honestly, big mood. Who doesn't love stealing souls and yar? And I right, gotta be careful now. I only have one stock. The luxury of that second stock is now gone. No, no, I'm not going in there. I know what's in there. Get creamed. No, no. Am I gonna become a ghost too? Oh no. All right, let's try another character. Let's, let's give Plankton a go. All right, Plankton's kind of heavy, but then again, he has a giant mech. I don't know what he can really do, but he seems really fun. Oh, he's got Karen in his attacks. Okay, we're not gonna talk about that. All right, let me get away from the pit in the middle of the stage. What is raining from the sky? Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage! Help! All right, can you all just calm down? Is, what's my uh, what's my ultimate? Let's find out. <laughs> Self-destruct on, <laughs> on this poor single foot soldier. Oh, I can angle that, and it's like a it's like a command grab. Oh, okay. All right, maybe we're not gonna play plankton. Let's try Donnie out. Oh, Donnie's he's got the bow staff range. Which is gonna be incredibly helpful. Look, he could attach like a rocket to it? That's sick. Right, what is his special? Let's find out. Since they're really easy to land on these minions. Ah, the turtle bus. Classic. Stupid bug. No! Whoa, no! Alright, already off to a better start. I mean, it makes sense. It's canon. Plankton was meant to lose. Oh, I gotta do it all over again! I'm gonna ask the question because I haven't watched all of Korra. I've only watched like a few episodes because I binged Avatar a few years back and then I was a little burned out. Uh, is Korra stronger than Aang? Avatar heads, if you could just weigh in and let me know. I guess without being too spoilery, because I'm gonna watch Korra eventually. What are my specials? What the hell? What is that? I have a projectile that I have to time, I guess. Oh no! All right, no more messing around. Unlock Korra now. I'm the Avatar. How could that have happened? Air attacks grant you intangibility. You become a ghost. Bye. I cannot. No, I will not follow the beaten path trampled by the masses. Rocco, my guy. Spunky, no! So my aerial attacks, I guess that makes me intangible when I'm like all glowy. 
Oh, I have to land them, it looks like. If I land them, then uh, I get that intangibility buff. Let's batter up! Where are the angry beavers at? I want to save them next. Someone's about to learn they should never mess with Muscular Beaver! <laughs> oh god, how strong are you? Oh no. What? Norbert, what did you just do? There's dragons here? Come on. Come on. How long can I charge this? Oh, I guess there's a, a finite limit. Oh, okay. So I picked up this uh, ability. Wait a second. I picked up this ability where my projectiles explode. So I should probably start doing that more because now I have actual bombs. You think being a passenger in your own brain would be relaxing. Actually, it's pretty stressful. All right, Flying Dutchman. Can you please not body me this time? You gotta be kidding me. All right, breaking out the beavers. I, uh, I, I revisited the store, and I bought a bunch more stocks, and I just immediately <laughs> lost one. That's all right. We got a fresh one. I also have, like, 12 jumps now, which is kind of cool. I'm so happy that Angry Beavers got some kind of inclusion. Such an underrated Nickelodeon show. All right, a couple more of these. Die! Uh, die again! All right, that's two bosses down. We're pretty good at polishing up pizzas together. Why not ghosts? I didn't even use Norbert. I probably should have switched. I mean, but if I'm being honest, Daggett's the better brother, right? <laughs> New Zone Metropolis. Oh, we gotta fight XJ9 now. Remember how hyped people were when they finally added XJ9 as DLC? I had no idea my life as a teenage robot was that popular of a show. <laughs> slap, slap her, slap her. Boom! Just throw her off. <laughs> Finish. Oh, I can fight SpongeBob now, my guy. Oh, hang on, I have him already. So he's. So what is this like? Shadow Bob. Is this a skin we can unlock? Because that's pretty cool. Because when you un when you beat characters, it seems you unlock certain skins. So, oh god, I'm down to one stock. Come on. Come on. There we go. I took too much damage there. What can you give me? Heal? Absolutely. But I can't afford anything else now. All right, I guess that was worth it. I need to cheese this somehow. Get him, Norb. Okay, okay. All right. Oh. Oh, no. Come here. I really just need to... Okay, that was, that was good. That was good. Oh, okay, so you do get a skin. Ghost Clone Brawler. Oh, Shredder time. So Shredder's probably gonna beat my... Maybe. Let's see, does he play the same way he played in Brawl 1? You face the Shredder. Oh, Shredder is here to shred. Go figure. Would've never guessed that. He is definitely bigger. Okay, his attacks seem the same. Kind of. Just, just don't let him hit you at all. I, I said don't let him hit you. Hey, that was my brother! Oh, God! One more good hit, and I'm toast. Oh, no! You know what? I'm gonna switch out. Maybe that'll help me a little bit. Or maybe I'll die instantly. Let's try arcade mode out. And this might be a good opportunity to try some new characters, so, you know what? Let's give Squidward some love. Squidward! He's got his Band Geeks outfit. He's got his artist outfit. We have his mind control skin. But let's go with the fan favorite. So arcade is pretty straightforward. It's just battle after battle after battle, no upgrades. And you have Vlad at the end, who's the main baddie of this entire game. All right, Squidward has his uh, his dances, his nair. <laughs> That's kind of funny. What else does he have? His F smash is the pizza box. Well, this one's on the house. Hey, stop. He slams the door on you for his F throw. His down tilt is just him doing his knee slap and laughing. How about his heavies? Oh god, that was awesome! Free my guy Lockjaw. Oh, this is a 2v1? We gotta fight Grandma Gertie and Gerald at the same time. No problem, easy. I love that they brought Hey Arnold back to do that second movie that never came out. That was easy. And it was just like a really fitting end. If you guys haven't seen the second Hey Arnold movie, you should absolutely watch it. Especially if you like the series. 
Hey Arnold as a whole is a top three Nicktoon for me. All right, pop the slime balloons. I like that they add these little mini games. They're fun. Can I? Wait, wait, wait. Come on, hit it. His up special is <laughs> him crashing on the bike. There we go. Get the rest of those balloons. Hey, Squidward went ghost once. Squidward the unfriendly ghost should be a skin. Actually, I don't know how many costumes each character has in this game, but they have quite a few. And it looks like you unlock more as you play the game. Oh, God. Oh, the portals. Ah! No! Go! Oh, get up there! I never thought I would say this sentence, but I really need to lab Squidward so I can learn some combos. I just, I also love that his up heavy is Krakatoa! Krusty Krab versus the Chum Bucket. Let me guess. Oh, I, I figured they might have uh, paired me up with SpongeBob here, but two Squidwards are better than one. Actually, maybe they're not. Massive. <laughs> his, uh, his heavy down aerial is the marble. Heavy neutral aerial is uh, him playing clarinet. How about specials? His jab is just him conducting. Ugh! Squidward, no! I will avenge you! Me, Squidward! He's Squidward, I'm Squidward. Is there any other Squidwards I should know about? Meow. Okay. Die! Yo, Zim got destroyed. Oh, another boss fight. Flying Dutchman time. But this time, I know his tricks. So if you prefer less of the campaign mode and you just want to do straight arcade, there's uh, quite a few single player options in this game. Ugh, what's he doing? Get that stink breath out of here. Oh no! Can I use my special on him? Or because he's a boss mate? No, no, the fly of despair! Die! All right, I have one stock left. Probably not great. And we're almost at Vlad, too. Oh, we're in the chum bucket. I haven't been on the stage yet. Okay, I don't know what's happening in the middle over there, but I guess just a 1v1 now. Here, you like pizza, right? There you go. I got a pie for you. Oh, this is a bonus stage. Do the whack -a bots I raised this question or this debate on Twitter, and I just, I want to weigh in with the good people in the comment section as well. What do you call a pizza with nothing on it? Do you call it a cheese pizza, or do you call it a plain pie? And a lot of people were like, why would you ever call a pizza a pie? I mean, the term pizza pie exists, but I think it's more of a regional thing that, like, in the Northeast, people call it a pie. Because, like, I wouldn't order a pizza and say, yeah, can I get a cheese pizza? I would say, let me get a plain pie. Because a pizza, by definition, is sauce and cheese. But let me know what you think. All right, we're gonna go into this final boss fight with like one stock, but I'm gonna try and, ch speaking of cheese, I'm gonna try and cheese Patrick here. Oh, slime pizza. I've always wanted to get slimed as a kid. All right, final battle time, Vlad Plasmius. Honestly, I made a wish list a while ago of characters I wanted in the game, and a few of them came true, but unfortunately Vlad Plasmius was one of them and he's a boss. But here's the hoping that one day he becomes playable. Oh my god. Maybe not this version of him. But like I was saying, I've always wanted to get slimed as a kid. Used to watch, like, all the Nick game shows, because I, I was a Nickelodeon kid growing up. Oh no! Oh, he broke my shield! Ah! Oh, he hits hard. Hang on. We could beat him. I just, I've also always wanted to know, what is the slime made of? Because some contestants would eat it. So there has to be some kind of food item in there. Okay, that is the that is the fake. Oh my god! Wow. Okay, I have to jump over those because I shielded them last time, and they crushed my shield. I, I'm playing on hard difficulty for anyone wondering. We're we doing a good deal of damage right now. Oh, beat Vlad's. Ah, get him. Okay, so there is no uh, side hitbox for his up heavy. I got you. I got you. Ah, die. Too easy. Good job, Squidward. Oh, and an S+. Plus. If we just stay here, Squidward's like, uh, uh, can you guys let me down, please? Uh, we did Arcade. You know what? Let's do Boss Rush. We played Squidward. Let's try a new character out. Let's go with... You know, I'm going to pick El Tigre. 
I know nothing about this character. I've never seen a single episode of El Tigre, but uh, I know a lot of people were excited for him to get in the game. Um, okay, I'm going to go with the cape alternate, because that looks cool. And let's see if we can take down all the bosses. Oh, he's definitely faster than Squidward. I like his play style. Like a fast brawler. I mean, I couldn't tell you any of his moveset references, so you might have to help me out here. But he plays as you would expect. He's got claws. He slashes. What is, what is that? <laughs> what is he charging up? Is that like a counter? Oh, trying to shock me. Actually, I kind of like his play style a lot. Watch me end up maining a character that I know nothing about. Oh, didn't mean to grab ledge there. Could have probably avoided that one. Okay, let's beat him. Hopefully I get my health back at the end of this fight so I don't have to waste any stocks. There we go. All right, King Jellyfish is down. Okay, good, I'm back to zero. I've fought in the Flying Dutchman so many times that I got him completely downloaded. Oh, yeah, keep throwing the barrels out. Right, let's see what some of my specials are. I don't know what side special does. Oh, no! No! I have the barrel! Come on, let me cut that beard for you. Let me give you a little trim. Ow, 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 hot, 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 hot. No! Oh, got pretty good recovery. Just again, I need to be a little careful here. No! Dutchy! Let me just, let me end this fast. All right, I want my revenge on Shredder. This is a pretty solid matchup, actually. Okay, I have a dumb question. Is Shredder voiced by Jim Cummings? Was he always? Because it sounds like he is, and I haven't watched the original TMNT in a long time. So, hey, uh, what? You coming back? <laughs> the fight's over here, pal. I mean, it sounds like him, and, you know, Cat was voiced by Jim Cummings, so it makes sense that they would be able to bring him back. Okay, I'm pretty high damage. I know Shredder could probably just one-shot me now. Come on. Come on. Couple more hits. Oh, jeez. No, go. Oh, I broke my shield. Ah! Come on. Wake up. Wake up. I'm mashing. Wake up. Die! You've heard the last of me. Yeah, that's Jim Cummings. Stage four. Sartana de los Muertos. I'm assuming this is an El Tigre character? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're making it rain fire, all right. I am too for you. You will never what, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, I see. You draw the path out of what the attack is going to be. All right, I think I got this boss figured out. Just got to make sure I don't block too often, and I try to dodge, because I've had my shield broken twice now. I am too powerful for you. You will never prevail. Are you too powerful? You have, like, four attacks, and I know all of them. That's the one I'm afraid of, because I... Yep, I know I'm going to just run into it. Oh, you got two now. What if I just wait right here? Oh, nope. I am dead. I wasn't expecting to be caught by that. Just going to wait over here for the hellfire to stop. I really want tacos for dinner now. All the mariachi music is making me hungry. Oh, what's his ultimate? Let's see, can I pull it off? There we go. Oh, he turns into a tiger. He becomes El Tigre. Oh, wow. Okay. That was cheap. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Don't move. Just, just stay doing what you're doing. There you go. Good job. Back to hell with you or wherever you're from. I'm glad I've beaten you once before. I'll beat you again. Just gonna watch out for those. Use more slime attacks. Wait, what? What is happening now? Where did he come from? I didn't know we were inviting friends. Who's El Tigre's friend? Like a scratching post or something? No! No! Oh wow, Vlad is beating the piss out of me. Damn! Couldn't DI that. So I know one of the big things is you can slime cancel into other moves in this game, and I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. I guess the first thing I should have did was go to training, but I was just so excited to play. So the labbing will have to happen after this video ends. All right, come on. Got all my stocks, too. Finish. Then, uh, 
in a twist, I guess Clockwork is the last boss. Again, I don't really know his lore in Danny Phantom, but I'm assuming we probably piss him off somewhere down the line. Danny Phantom was a show that I watched a good amount of, but just like when it was on, I didn't really seek it out, but it is top tier. Oh, I'm I'm slow. What are you, what are you throwing? Out. Bro's flipping the crusty crab tables. I can't remember what every single one of these does. Ah! Ah! Leave me alone, grandfather clock. Oh, what the hell? What am I thinking? What do Chuck, what are you doing, man? Going deep for one aerial attack. Let's finish him off and save the universe. Die! Die! Woo! It's done. All my stocks still got him! And El Tigre saves the day. Thanks again to Game Mill for sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about Nick All-Star Brawl 2, be sure to click the link in the video description. We'll see you next time.